Hello, it's Mrs. JJ here again with the second preparation video for my little house journal. So in the first one, I kind of made the entrance to the house and you can still have it stand like this. In this episode, we are going to continue with the, I don't know if you want to call it living room or TV room or something like that. So let's start with the floor. We are going to use this paper for the floor. So it's just a matter of starting. And of course, I'm always using up scraps first, so we will start with that. So let's see, what kind of floor do we want to have here? We had kind of bricks there. And then we have the kitchen, so... Let's go with... What about just long, long ones like this? And I'm not going to measure, just cut them down into small, maybe not even half an inch. like this to start out so we are going to cover this whole white area with the floor and I do want to have it individual like this instead of just gluing it all straight on Let's see if we need to make more or uh, we can just handle, have it like this. So let's, let's start gluing, gluing them down and I will be making some little details to these. Just putting that little piece aside and continuing with another one. So we could just go with that one on the other side. Cutting off small little pieces. You never know, might be adding it to something else later on. Now I'm just going to cut those little pieces off. I'm going in, I'm thinking with almost the last piece on this side. because we have to think about the fold. So 
So we do need to add a couple more to the other side. So it's just a matter of continuing. I will actually continue with that. Let's see. And then go in with with another piece there afterwards. In the previous clip you saw me making the floor to this room uh, today it's a new day and I have continued with a couple of more things I have made a little bit of a texture to the floor I have created a rug and as you can see, I've also made a little TV and I was thinking that we could continue with the bookshelf that I want to be here. Or maybe just going over here. So let's let's just work this out. I'm going to use this more brown shelf for kind of like a shelf unit so let's see how how are we going to make this thing work with this paper i'm going to create a little shelving unit that will cover the wall there so let's see and might even have to measure a tiny bit so it's Let's look into that. Maybe this much. Going through on the other side like that. So I will glue this part to the wall. Like this. So let's just cut it off somewhere there and kind of decorate it a little bit. So we will put this one to the side and continue with decorating the shelves. I do want it to really show so I'm going to have white on there so let's see Going to cut this one to size as well and just have it glued to this here.
like that and then going in and making the decoration part for the shelves let's see do I want to have a shelf here and one here maybe and a small one over here and then of course some some little units like this And then going in with some fun things, you know, maybe some books or video games or, you know, things like that. Going here. Or even just have a little bit of something going on in there just to have it show. And then maybe something here. And might even have a little decoration here in this. So let's look into how to attach this one. Thinking something like this might be nice. Glue. As you can see it's peeled off so I might even go in with some extra glue on these little bits and pieces while I'm at it it has a tendency to peel off a little bit if I haven't been making this proper but let's go in with some extra glue And when this whole thing stands, it will be something like this. 
So let's let's look into the fold. So it will kind of float in a way when you have it like this, but when it's it's um, folded down, like if you want to play, you have it like that. So I made the little rug just with a piece of this material that I have and just knotted you know each individual strand on with this one so this will represent the TV room or you know the living room area so we have two more rooms left and then of course the reveal of the kitchen which will be on September 10th in the live stream hop. So thank you so much everyone that has been watching and I will be back with another video in this project so thank you so much bye everyone